Hello. Good morning, ma'am. This is your wake up call. Huh? This is your morning wake up call. Uh, it's a lovely 69 degrees here in Las Vegas. The humidity is at 14% with winds of 12 miles per hour. Exercise will be in the parking lot in five minutes. Are you wide awake and ready to go? Um, I think you have the wrong room. I don't think so. This is 1022. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have been selected for mandatory exercise out in the parking lot in five minutes, okay? The what? Mandatory exercise in the parking lot in five minutes, okay? You need it's to get down here. It's in the morning. It's time to wake up. No, it's not. It's a beautiful day. With <coughs> wake up, wake up, wake up. Who is this? This is Ron, the <coughs> manager. It's time for your exercise, ma'am. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Who is this? I just fucking told you it's Ron at the front desk, ma'am. Am I gonna have to come up there? Wakey wake. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude. Wakey wakey, this is your wake up call. Are you serious? I get up early for work. This is ridiculous. Uh huh. It's n and the time is approximately early. You need to get up, do your exercises. Please we have, stop calling me. We have a selection of pastries available in the lobby after the exercise, okay? You have five minutes to report, actually four minutes to report for exercise. What did you just say? It's exercise time in the parking lot. Wake up, please. Up, up, up. Is that your uh, partner in the background I can hear? What? Is that your partner I can hear in the background? What are you doing? Don't you have something better to do? Yes, I have to wake everyone up for their wake-up calls, goddammit, ma'am. Just wake up. You're crazy. Have a great day, but please stop calling me. Wake up. I'll be calling him in about 30 minutes, okay? Wake up. <laughs> Hello? Good morning, sir. This is your wake-up call. No, no, no. You call the wrong, wrong person. I mean, this is Rick in B1024. Yes, 1024, sir. It's 2.40 a.m., your requested wake-up call. Exercise time is in five minutes out in the parking lot. Uh, no, no. It's a warm and cool 69 degrees Fahrenheit right now, with humidity at 14% and winds of 12 miles per hour. It's going to be a beautiful day. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wait, you, you called the wrong person. So, I did not re this is room 1024. Yes, it is. No, it's B... It's, it's building B... 1024. Yes, correct. That is the correct room, sir. You do need to report for exercise. You have four minutes left. I excuse me, report for exercise? Yes, it's Wait, mandatory. Sir, uh, you should have read all this at check-in. It's mandatory exercise time out in the parking lot. You need to wear some comfortable shoes and you need to get down here, sir. Okay? Wake up. A joke? No, sir, this is not a joke. We're, we're trying to help you out here. I don't really appreciate the hostility. Why don't you just get your ass down here and do the exercises, okay? It's this budget you're calling? Yes, I'm the manager here, sir. What's the problem? Well, wh why are you objecting to this? This is for your own good. Okay, this better be a joke, okay? Because nobody ever told me about this. No, you, ha you, have to go you have to come down to the parking lot right now. You need to put on some comfortable shoes and some appropriate clothing. And, and just, uh, get, come on. Yeah. yeah, no, you better come down here. You better be ready to exercise too, all right? Okay, I'm going to find out what is the... I've, I, I've seen the gut on you, okay, and that is not healthy for a man of your age. You you need to get down here and do some exercise right now. Okay, I'm going to come on right now. Find okay. out what is it all about. Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. This is Ron with the front desk. This is your wake-up call. Huh? Yeah, this is your wake-up call, sir. No, I never ordered the wake-up call. Uh, the wrong number. No, no, this is room 1034, correct? Huh? This is room 1034. Yes. Yes, we will be bringing your breakfast in the next 10 minutes. Okay. Who, who is that? This is Ron with... 
so we're bringing your breakfast up okay i need to make sure no you're, you're, i don't need, i don't need that to order nothing well you, we're bringing your breakfast in five minutes sir okay hey man who are you hey listen who are you who are Call you me. who are you motherfucker you don't talk to me like that why so, are you calling me i'm calling stupid to tell you that i'm bringing your breakfast up there you need to put on some pants, because I don't want to see your junk flapping around when I'm bringing up the breakfast, okay? <coughs> what kind of breakfast? Uh, you're going to be having eggs, uh, bacon, sausage, uh, waffles. It's the, the, the $69 breakfast, the standard breakfast, okay? No, I don't need breakfast. I, do, I don't order them. Hey, hey, motherfucker, you, you placed the order, okay? I had to get up early to make this breakfast. <coughs> Don't jerk me around, dick lips. Okay. I'm going to call the police right now. <laughs> You're going to call the police? <laughs> what are you going yeah, yeah. to tell them? <laughs> Someone <laughs> called about a breakfast. No, man. Let me tell you something. Oh. Uh -oh. Don't bother me, please. Okay, I thought you were going to be more threatening then. Could you be more threatening? It was the way you went, listen to me, man. I was waiting for something really kind of uh, intense. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Good morning, sir. This is Ron with the front desk. This is your wake-up call. I'm sorry, I didn't ask for a wake-up call. Uh, I can't hear you very well. Can you speak into the phone? I didn't ask for a wake-up call. Uh, I'm sorry, we have a wake-up call scheduled on the system here, room 1036. Uh, no. That is room 1036, correct? Yes, it is, but I didn't schedule one. Well, sir, we have you scheduled for a wake-up call, and you'll be taking part in the exercise out in the parking lot in 10 minutes. What? That is correct. I have all the information here. Can I just confirm your name, please? Uh, what name do you have on there? I need to confirm your name for security, I'm sir. Or I, I will need to come up there. My name is Chris. Chris, okay. Yeah, Chris, you are definitely scheduled for the exercise session. Um, we exercise? It, we're doing exercises in the parking lot, sir, in ten, well, nine minutes now, okay? Uh, you, need to, you need to get down here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, sir. This is Ron at the front desk. You requested a call with this morning's news headlines. <clears throat> uh, the Nevada State Bank owner is to lay off 500 and close uh, I branches. Did, I did not request a call. Uh, the police officer fired in the Ghana chokehold death is sued to get his job back. Hello? Uh, yes? Hello? I, I did not request a call. Yes, so it's the morning headlines. Uh, mourners con and constituents pay tribute no, to I U.S. Did not, Rep. I did Elijah not Cummings. Uh, Elizabeth Warren slams Las Vegas homeless ordinance. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Good morning, ma'am. Ron with the front desk. I'm just calling to give you the uh, local morning headline news uh, as per your request. Uh, good morning, ma'am. It's a cool and clear day here in Las Vegas. Uh, I'm just going to pull up the latest headlines for you now. Uh, would you like business news, really sports, <laughs> editorials? <laughs> in the morning. Okay, I'll give you an overview. So the Las Vegas ballpark shares picker Flick winner has been announced. Venetian wins gold in housekeeping Olympics. Would you like to know about that? No. Okay, would you like sports, business news, editorials, no. No. Uh, no. local no. opinions? Whatever yeah. list I'm on, take me off. I don't want to be called at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, the latest report says that Alzheimer's risk may be 75% higher for people who eat trans fats. Uh, would you like some more information about that? <laughs> I'm not interested. A man has been shot to death outside a central Las Vegas business complex. Um, a Utah man has been sentenced in Las Vegas for tax evasion. Um, there were bargains on the former PGA tour stop hotels, if you're interested in that at all. A uh, helicopter crash uh, kills a pilot near Red Rock Canyon just outside Las Vegas. No. The recent construction boom in North Las Vegas shows no signs of slowing down. Back. 
Uh, with Southern Nevada's warehouse construction boom showing no sign of stopping, three please projects please were recently unveiled, totaling nearly up, 6 stop. million square feet of space in North Las Vegas. Seafood industrial properties... At, hello? Hello. Good morning, ma'am. Ron calling with the... <laughs> Uh, central office just uh, giving you your morning news headlines as requested um, a Nevada donor network eyes bank regains accreditation Las Vegas area patients to get Alzheimer's drug during FDA review cosmic crisp apples to arrive in Las Vegas Valley in December and the Valley Health System opens emergency room in a growing enterprise uh, let's go over to Ron on the sports desk now the uh, UNLV Roundup Sir, Women's Tennis Team opens regional tournament. Number. I didn't request for no service call in the morning. This is room 1048, ma'am. You requested the news headlines. Uh, okay, over to, go, ahead. Uh, uh, go ahead. No problem, yeah. Over to business news now. The Nevada State Bank owners are to lay off 500 employees, closing several branches. Uh, the construction boom in North Las Vegas shows no signs of slowing down. Um... Apple icon Steve Wozniak helps kick off Las Vegas Auto Conference. Um, over in entertainment news now, Selena Gomez addresses Hailey Bieber's supposed shade after releasing a second new song. The challenge star Amo Hall is transitioning. Um, let me see what else we got here. Uh, hundreds have turned out for the Las Vegas student-run farmer's market. Uh, the psychic medium Thomas John is to headline Caesar's Palace. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, are you there? Ma'am? 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 Oh no, she may have fallen asleep again. Hello? Good morning, sir. Ron with the front desk. Is this room 1052? Yes, it is. Good morning, sir. It's just to let you know that you have been nominated to be this morning's Milk Monitor. I beg your pardon? Oh, you've been nominated to be this morning's Milk Monitor. Uh, we nominate a random person each day. Um, so you will be handing out the milk to all the hotel guests. Um, if you could be at reception in the next 10 minutes to uh, come and collect the first uh, crate of milk, that would be great. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What number are you trying to call? 1052, sir. We've, we've chosen you as the milk monitor. Uh, this is, what name are you trying to get a hold of? Uh, it, it's irrelevant. This is room 1052, correct? Oh, yes, it is, but I'm not a milk monitor. No, you've been nominated to be the milk monitor just for this morning. We just nominate a random person each morning, so you will be handing out the milk this morning. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, I can't. Uh, um, you don't have a choice, sir. I'm so sorry, but we'll have to remove you from the room if you refuse. Um, it is. Oh, okay. It all is. right, please remove me from the room. Okay, well, I'm going to have to come up there, dick lips. All right, and there will be an extra charge for that. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll see you in a minute. And you don't get any free milk this morning. Oh, okay. No milk for you. Thank you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Good morning, ma'am. This is Ron with the security office here at the hotel. How are you doing today? Security office? Yes. What's security office? Yes, I'm sorry. Were you sleeping? Who is... What security office are you calling from? I'm with... Yes, ma'am. Uh, I just need to make you aware of a situation we have here. What's the situation? Uh, we have a, a number of guests tonight have reported a ghost in the hotel. Uh, I just wanted to let you know to watch out for that. Is this a crank call? No, ma'am. It's quite serious, actually. We've had some poltergeist activity just down the hall from you, actually. Um, some ectoplasmic residue was found in the room just next door, so just please be very careful. Do not operate a Ouija board. Um, don't answer any strange phone calls. Uh, maybe just avoid staring at the TV while it's on static for a while, and you should be okay. Do you have a Bible in the room? Hello? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Is this room 1065? Yes, 
course it is. Hi there, this is Ron with the manager's office. It was just a call to let you know that we are going to be carrying out some refurbishments in your room this morning. Early this morning? Yes, yeah, we're what coming time? in. We're going to be doing some painting. Uh, my guys are going to be up there in about 20 minutes. Uh, we're going to have the about painting crew. Yeah, yeah, the plasterers are coming in. And then the electrician will be there in about one hour. Okay, why this time in the morning? Um, as basically to save money, we get the cheapest contractors at this time. Um, I'll be honest, it's a group of Mexican guys. We just picked them up in the Walmart parking lot, and they're going to be coming in to do all the work for you, okay? Uh, you may want to hide any valuables you have in the room. Uh, I don't think you should be able to, you should be coming over this morning with Burris or anything. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but it's my hotel. I can do whatever the fuck I want, can't I? I should oh, make. Yeah, 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 yeah I should. God, hey, hey, God damn it! I'll make you do the painting. All right, you should be. You should think yourself lucky. All right, you're getting your room painted. Oh, you should be lucky. I don't kick your ass. <gasps> Motherfucker, you! I'll come up there. Oh. <coughs> Good morning. Is this room ten sixty nine? Yes. Hello, there, sir. Uh, Ron with Hotel Security. How are you doing this morning? Fine, thank you. Great, great. It was just to let you know that we're coming in there to do a random inspection in five minutes. Okay. Uh, we just need to check for any uh, illegal materials, any contraband, uh, any foreigners. Is that okay? It's okay. Great, great, okay. Um, if you could uh, just uh, step outside the room and just wait by the front door. Security will be up there in the next few minutes. Mm-hmm, okay. Okay, uh, make sure you polish your shoes and make your bed. Yeah. Okay and just have a bit of a clean up and if you could brew some coffee because we're very tired mm. okay <laughs> <laughs> he was just going to say yes to everything hello hello there sir is this room 1072 yes hi there great this is Ron I'm the security guard here at the hotel how are you doing I'm doing okay Great. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I am sorry to disturb you. I was just wondering what kind of shampoo you use. Uh, I, I don't, um, it's like, I don't know, like a peppermint, whatever. Uh, right, right, peppermint. Um, I'm, this is going to sound a bit weird. Please don't freak out. But uh, sometimes at night, I like to go into the rooms while the guests are sleeping and smell their hair. And I, I was just in there earlier, and there was just this lovely peppermint aroma, and I just wondered what the brand was. Yeah, uh, do, uh, I don't fucking think so. Uh, I'm sorry? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not answering that question. Well, I'm... I'm t <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that one. <laughs> Hello? Hi there, it's uh, Ron. I'm the security guard here at the hotel. How are you doing? I'm okay. Oh, cool, cool. Um, so, yeah, I just started my shift. I'm on the early shift today. Um, kind of bored, you know, just sitting here. Uh, but I, I just got a Nintendo Switch. Uh, I just got one for my birthday. I wondered if you wanted to come down maybe play some Mario Kart with me. No, sorry, sweetie. Oh, why not? Because I'm with my husband and my child. Okay, well, just come on your own. Don't bring them. Yeah, well, I'm spending time with them, honey. <sighs> but I want to play Nintendo. I'm sorry, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> what is she doing with them at three in the morning? <laughs> Hello. Hello, is this room 1076? Yes. Oh, hi there. This is Ron. I'm the hotel security guard. How are you doing today? I'm really sorry to disturb you. Uh, the reason for the call is um, I, I just got to work. Basically, uh, the, it's a long story, but the water's off in my apartment at home, and I haven't had a shower for two days. I was wondering if I could just come in there and use your shower. No, I'm sorry. Oh, come on. just uh, I'll, be, I'll be in and out in ten minutes. Hello? <sighs> These people are not helping at all tonight. Oh, hi, this is, uh, is this room 1077? Yes. Oh, hi, this is Ron, I'm the hotel security guard. Yes. 
Hi, how are you doing? I'm okay. Great, great. Are you busy at the moment? I'm asleep. Huh, okay, so you're not really doing anything. Um, listen, we have to move one of the vending machines down here in reception. I was just wondering if you could come down, give me a hand with that. Um, you look like quite a strong guy. You should only take five, ten minutes. Is that okay? Um. Excuse me? Hello? Excuse me? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping in bed. Well, no, I, I understand. So obviously you're not busy at the moment. Um, I hate to ask. It's just you look like such a strong young man. Um, it w really won't take more than five minutes. I mean, I don't want to lift it myself. I, I, I have a sore back. Um, I'm not really supposed to lift these things, you know. I mean, you'd really be helping me out. Who is this? This is Ron. I'm the hotel security guard. Look, man, come on. The, the, the guy's going to be here with a new vending machine in like five minutes. So are you not going to help me out? Like, seriously. How did you get my number? Well, I have all the room numbers. I'm I'm here in the manager's office. Look, uh, you know what? Okay, if you I'll don't... Call the, I'll, call, I'll, I'll call the manager's office back. Hey, you know what? If you don't come down here and help me, I'm going to tell the manager I smelled weed in your room. All right? I'll do it. I don't know who this is, but please don't call back. This is Ron, the hotel security guard. Just <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is this room 1079? Yes. Oh, great. Yeah, hi, it's Ron. I'm the hotel security guard. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing okay. Great. I'm so sorry to disturb you. Listen, I was just wondering, like, can you sell me some weed? Like, I know you're carrying, you I, I know you're carrying, like, could you, could you sell me a little something? Sell you what? I just want, like, a dime bag. Is that all right? I don't have anything to sell you. No, I just want a bit, just a bit of the weed, man. You know the ganja. Can I, can I, can I come up there now and score? I have nothing to sell you. I don't have nothing. Oh, come on, man. I know, I know you guys always do. Come on, let me. I just, I'll be in and out five minutes, okay? Like, please. I haven't had a smoke all day. Look, man. I'll, I'll, I'll share whatever I get with you, okay? Let's. Yeah, just hook me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's his problem? Hello. Hello. Is this room ten eighty four? Yes. Hi there, this is Ron. I'm the hotel security guard. How are you doing this morning? I'm going. I was sleeping. Oh, I'm so sorry to disturb you. This won't take a minute. Um, it's just my wife recently became an independent distributor for Herbalife. Have you heard of Herbalife? I'm not interested. Thanks. Um, we have all the micronutrients and vitamins and minerals. <laughs> hey, hello. Hello, is this room 1084? No. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it fucking is. No, it isn't, there, fucker. Which <laughs> which fucking room is it then, dick lips? Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck your mother. I keep your mother off the street and I leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. What room is this, really? What room did you dial? Well, I dialed 1084, like I said, obviously. You could have figured... Well, I know it's not. That's why I'm asking what room it is. Well, I'm not going to tell you. Ah, you old bastard. You win this round. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that is the correct answer. Were you asleep? You're still asleep. It's the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck was that? Hello? Sir, I just want to tell you about how to build your own business with Herbalife Nutrition's I'm flexible in, income I'm opportunity. I'm pissed off. You, know, you should not be calling me. Thank you. Sir, I, I worked... <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Good morning. Is that room 1089? Mm-hmm. Hi there, ma'am. This is Ron. I'm the hotel security guard. How are you doing this morning? Um, sleeping. Okay, I'm so sorry to disturb you. This won't take a minute. Um, reason for the call, I just started my shift here tonight. Uh, and my wife has recently become an independent distributor for Juice Plus. Have you heard of Juice Plus? Uh, no. 
Okay, well, let me tell you a little bit more about it. So many of us are trying to eat healthy every day, and we know that it's not always easy. Juice Plus contains over 30 fruits and vegetables that can help you bridge the gap between what you eat and what you should eat every day. Um, now, my boss has given me permission to offer all guests of the hotel a 10% discount on their first pack of Juice Plus. If you... <laughs> what? <laughs> she obviously hung up by mistake.